Survival Post. Hello, good people of YouTube. Mountbatten here with another live replay commentary. If you guys don't know what live replay commentary means, that means I am watching this game with you live as it is happening. It seems to be a bit more, more beta, if you will, than the normal replay videos that I do where I record them in advance. I know exactly what's going to happen, and I do like these better. It, it gives a better reaction, and again, you guys seem to enjoy it quite a bit more. So here we are in the Tier 10 Burgon, being piloted, well, captained by Linus. This is, according to him, one of his first games in Burgon. He recently acquired this ship, and he had the match you're about to see here. Now, I do have a general idea of what's going to happen, but I don't know exactly how this is going to play out all in all in the end. So, he is here on, what's map, map is this? This is, yep, Warrior's Path. This is Domination. He's got, let's take a look at his team, shall we? So, he's got a Hawk, a Monty, himself, and the Burgon, a Musashi, Georgia, Missouri, Jean Bard, Minotaur, Alaska, Holland, Groningen, and a U2501. And our team's got a Midway, GK, another Burgon, Kier Sarge, two Kier Sarge. Man, I love matchmaking, how they put two Kier Sarges on the same team. Uh, Jean Bard, another Jean Bard. Ne uh, Nevsky, Neptune, Shimakaze, Jutland, and a U2501. If you guys don't know, matchmaking is supposed to kind of make sure that, you know, in the case of two Kearsarges being in queue, that one team gets one and the other team gets the other, and here we are with two Kearsarges on the enemy team. That's a big advantage in terms of spotting and aircraft power, because the Kearsarges both have a flight of, well, what you see on the screen right here, with the midway rocket planes that they're essentially the same flight but smaller and of course have less consumables and such but i mean still two more flights of aircraft is a big advantage not to mention that the kearsarge is also just a downright good battleship in terms of its firepower opens up on a well on the other burgon with he loaded looks like he's playing burgon as an he spammer so if you guys don't know burgon is an all an, an all says that can hit what it's aiming at it's an all Sace, which is the Tier 9 French Battleship, up Tier to Tier 10, both all-around more accurate guns, a reload booster, and a different set of AA and secondaries. But all in all, this is, in my opinion, one of the best battleships in the game, because you have those wonderful French 15-inch guns. You get French AP that really hits well above its weight class. Go away, Norton Lifelock. I thought I removed you from my computer long ago. Um, let's see, did he hit, yes, he did hit the GK start of fire, I mean, this is a very, very valid method for playing the Burgon, because you, you do have 15 inch guns at tier 10, it is a disadvantage, but with the accuracy of them, you can most definitely be doing well, what he's doing here, and constantly slapping these higher tier battleships for a decent amount of HE damage, and a very good chance of causing a fire on the target. Um, and like here, and I'm pretty sure that GK just put his fire out. If he wanted to, oh, there he goes. Popped reload booster. So he just put his fire out using damage con, sent one salvo down range, and now he's going to be able to send a follow-up salvo. So if this salvo doesn't start a fire, which it just did, well, now he has his follow-up salvo that can most definitely start a fire in the case of that one not doing so. I mean, even with RNG being the way it is, more than likely with... 12 guns, one of these shells are going to start a fire. And then look, there goes his third salvo already. And let's see if he gets a fire uh, out of that salvo. Oh, he has one fire on that GK, which is a permanent fire. The second one will, will, I'm sorry, the third one will probably set another firefight, I guess. Ah, didn't connect. Yep, that is the um, caveat there. You have to make the, make the shells connect. Now, I would definitely not play it as an HE spammer primarily. At these longer ranges, sure, absolutely. But once you get in, I would definitely swap one over to that AP, and we'll see if he does that here. Granted, this is his first, uh, one of his first couple of matches in the ship, so he can still be getting a feel for it. So, situation on the map. Enemy team has the A cap. Friendly team is two ships down already, and looks like they might be getting the C cap here. It drops both of his ASW charges on top of the U-2501. Um, yeah, okay. Since he knows... Oh, man, that's going to wreck this man. Ho, 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 Yeah, there goes um, just a little... Actually, I think with, with the flood, if that if that runs, that's going to be definitely half of his health off there. 
when you have an idea of where the submarine is at, like uh, Linus does here, sure, go ahead and drop both of them on top of his head. Uh, but if you don't, I would definitely drop one, you know, kind of try to get some of those oil leaks going and then hunt them out using the second one. Let's see. So you're going to get another thrilling gameplay, isn't it, fellas? Yeah, this is going to be another good hit for him. Ooh, that was almost right on top of him. So another 12 seconds, we'll have his uh, other charge of ASW up. And that should be a dead 2501 here. Although, because this is a premium ship... Actually, no, the the, the uh, Burgon's range isn't that bad. Ooh, he's going to flood out, I think. He was very low, and his flooding's still ticking. Oh, that 2501 is at, like, 10 health. Dang. Oh, that sucks. Um, The other 2501 might be able to get him here. Okay, uh, sit rep. I just heard some caps tick over, and yep, enemy team's got two. They're up by 200 points and change. Um, and not looking too good for his team right here. Man, 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 I can't believe that that 2501 got away. That that is that is soul crushing, soul crushing, dude. English is hard. All right, Neptune is up oh, there. We go fire on the other Bergone, Ironically, uh, Neptune's hanging that on either. I would definitely be eyeing him up with some AP right now. Let's see, Bergone. I'm sorry, not number gone. GK, what you gonna do here? Uh, at that angle, okay. Although, again, me personally, I would have loaded AP and tried to chunk the GK in its superstructure. Uh, the GK and the germ. Uh, pfft, I mean, we got a double fire. Who cares at that point? A uh, GK is one of those ships where it has a city built on top of its deck, so you can chunk that superstructure easily for 15k if not more with the French AP. But again, granted, with how he's angled and such, and with 15-inch guns, you know, yeah, burn him down. Definitely burn him down if he's going bowing like that. But if you get his broadside, definitely switch to AP. So let's see, another 7K, and that was, what, a 10K in HE Alpha? <laughs> God, Bergon is so good. So it looks like the Jutland is a, is rushing the, the friendly Hawk. Wow, okay, yeah, look at that. The, 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 I'm, I'm sounding like a freaking Looney Tune here for a second. Uh, the friendly team absolutely just left a path wide open to their Hawk. Look, he's at 3 HP! Get him! Get, get him, Linus! I'm going to be so bad if that doesn't kill him. 3 HP! I was overestimating when I said 10! <laughs> God, I, I normally exaggerate or under-exaggerate a little bit. Um, there we go. <laughs> or... Not under-exaggerate, that's not a word. Uh, understate again. Oh, look at that! Got the double strike! I wasn't even paying attention! Burned out the GK and gets the uh, the U2501 with that right there. Within, uh, was it 15 seconds of each other? Nicely done, Linus. So that's his first medal of the match. So that Burgon's broadside on Jutland is, wow, really gunning down that height. The Jutland's really been, been getting away with gunning down the Hawk. In the middle of the map. That, that, um, yeah. I think that's a dead hawk there. He's at what? 3k HP. Uh, sit rep. Half of Linus' team is dead. Linus is in a, a situation that we are all too familiar with. With half your team being dead, with maybe two or three of the enemy team having gone down for their troubles. So, yeah, okay, good. So Linus has pushed up. He has loaded APN. Good, good decision there. Again, at long range, just definitely understand with the 15-inch guns. But once you get into these closer situations, definitely load that AP in the tubes because this AP friggin' rocks. All right, um, Kearsar <laughs> Yeah, speak of three squadrons, there's three squadrons up in the air right now with two uh, Kearsarge's rocket planes and then the uh, midway dive bombers. Like, Nevsky just popped up 21 kilometers away. Mm, he's kind of angled. Nevsky has pretty good uh, main main belt armor for a light cruiser now if he had to get like 18 inch guns sure yeah but uh linus doesn't he has 15 inch guns linus is about to be the closest one up on his team to the furthest one up on his team Ooh, hey kearsarge uh but then hello neptune oh dude that is a perfect shot vibe check this man right now a little bit too high up on the aim but granted with the dispersion <laughs> Oh, God, French AP is wonderful. So that's a dev strike on top of that. So the Cure Surge, after just witnessing his light cruiser escort simply cease to exist, now has to deal with Linus here. So, okay, loading up HE. Again, Cure Surge going bowing. Good call there. Granted, with the giant tomb of a flight deck on the back, you could have kept AP in and chunked him like that. But again, 
with how accurate the guns are and with the cure surge going directly bow in, not a bad call because there you go. This is the power of knowing what button to push in a battleship that we are witnessing here. You don't just click two or one and leave it there for the rest of the match. You actually swap back and forth. So enemy team right now has all the caps, by the way. Uh, despite Linus's best attempts, they are still down on ships. The Hawk has somehow managed to live. Uh, and there goes the squadrons from the Kearsarge. Ooh, 12K in HE, Alpha. Uh, that's from going right into that 16 millimeter hangar right there. Trying his third turret on the target. There that goes. His dispersion seems to be a little wonky for being a, uh, a Brigand. Double fire from the Kearsarge there. Pops his damage count on that. Very good decision, obviously. And another fire. The Kearsarge has swapped over to HE, which is, again, the right move to do with uh, this situation, facing a bow tanking ship. Um, looks like the friendly team has discovered the W key, and they're pushing up with Linus, which, wow, that's incredibly rare nowadays. Linus, by the way, dude's at 200,000 damage right now. Well, 198, now he's about to be at 200. There we go. Uh, I believe Kearsarge does have his damage con going. Alaska getting the Nevsky there. Okay. Um, let's see, he is sitting in the cap. Good decision here, keeping these points stalled. So right now, while yes, the friendly team doesn't have this cap, as long as he sits in this cap, the enemy team are getting no points from it. So that's helping his team quite a bit. Uh, friendly Montana just got the enemy will go on. Double fire there on the Kearsarge. I believe that's a perma fire. And even if he did pop it right there, he's really boost. Oh, nope. Uh, Linus says, I'm just going to flex on the men. Ah, oh, Friendly Montana just went down. And there's Witherer right there for his third medal of the game. So he got his reload booster going up. There's High Caliber for his fourth <laughs> medal of the game. Ah, oh, God. Jeez. Um, let's see. So, another reload booster. Man, jean Bar got the Hawk. So his team's down on ships again. Looks like a glimmer of hope there from his team actually pushing up. 229,000 damage done so far. He's just making this Kearsarge roasty toasty. Popping his engine boost there. Okay. Oh, yeah. So he's stepping up because the Holland's got the cap now. He's just getting reset anyway. Excellent decision there. Getting himself out of the cap because he's constantly getting reset in, hindering the capping progress. But now that he's out, the Holland's free to sit in there and cap that cap. Excellent decision. There is another fire on the, on the Kearsarge. He's going to burn out from that. If not, just get blapped here with the rear turrets. And there's Arsonist for his fifth medal of the game or achievements or I actually don't know what these are called I believe it's achievements <laughs> um, 1700 damage there from the rocket planes and the friendly Alaska takes out the midway okay so now that leaves a uh, full health Kearsarge um, the Jean bar I'm not 100% sure what his HP is at um, although it looks like um, ooh man midway just got a bite out of the Alaska there Ooh, that Alaska, though, that's a lot of torpedoes from the Shimakaze. I'm not sure if he's going to... Is he going to thread that? Oh, oh, my man threads it all. Good dodging there from the Alaska. I, I don't know how close that was, but that, that that's a lot of Doritos on the screen right now. Granted, the um, the Kira starts with the 60... Yep, with the 16-inch guns, can do that to the Alaska. 60,000 HP. If someone's got their Ram flag equipped, this may not go... Oh, okay, someone did not have their Ram flag equipped. Nope. Excellent trade there from the Alaska. A almost dead tier 9 cruiser for a full health tier 9 battleship. Good trade. All right. So Linus' team has Georgia, half health Georgia, uh, two thirds health Holland, and his half health Burgon against a, an almost full health Jean Bar and a Shimakaze that I'm not sure where he's at. But the enemy team is still up over three, 300 points. No, I'm sorry, over 200 points, almost 300 points at this moment. And that's going to keep increasing as this goes on. Now, Jean Bar versus Zor Georgia, that's, uh, hmm. I'd actually give that to the Jean Bar because of the rate of fire of the guns, and, I mean, hey, with HE, like you've been seeing here from Linus, it's it's very possible for him to just murder that Georgia. And he can bow tank the Georgia, because the Georgia has 457s, not 460s, and he can't overmatch 32. So, let's see what happens here. Now, thankfully for this Georgia, Linus is piling up on the Jean Bar and helping him deal with him. Um, it looks like the Georgia might also be going for the Ram here on the Jean Bar. See, right here, I would switch to AP. Because even at 20 kilometers with that much broadside on a French battleship, you'd be taking chunks out of him. 
But I mean, hey, Aichi's been working for Linus this entire time. The dude's got just about every achievement in the game so far. And, oosh, yeah, sheesh. John Bard does bite. Georgia, mm, not quite the bite back, because again, the John Bard's playing it smart, staying bow in. Uh, it does look like the Georgia is going in for either a drive-by or a ram. Both of these ships are very highly maneuverable. I think the, the John Bard does have his engine boost up. It looks like he does at the moment. Uh, let's see what happens here. We're going to get a Pirates of the Caribbean moment, or, uh oh, Georgia fired too early, it looks like. And I believe Jean Bar is about to discover the uh, downside of not having a turret in the back. Let's see. I'm sure the Jean Bar probably hit his reload booster by now. Um, the Georgia secondaries are tearing into him pretty good. Does have a fire started on the Jean Bar? I think he just damaged. Comp There's Confederate for Linus too. Why not? What's he missing? Secondary? I think he's just missing the secondary uh, one now. So let's see. Jean Bar now does have a turret in the back, so he's going to have to. Uh, well, hope his secondaries can get the job done. Now, again, this is, I definitely would have AP loaded at this moment. Because, again, Jean Bar's armor scheme plus French AP equal dead Jean Bar. Ooh, ooh, good clap back from the Georgia. Um, I didn't see if the Jean Bar got his, his front guns off there. That looked like his front guns, but that also could have been his rear secondaries. No, his guns are facing this way now. Okay, let's see. 9k Jean Bar, 9k, this is so close, and this is with Linus helping, oh my god, look at that up, that's a dead Georgia, and now we have a uh, almost dead Jean Bar to deal with, ah, yes, Linus, you have finally loaded AP, thank you, alright, so, this should be a dead Jean Bar here, I mean, definitely, definitely, with the uh, AP and the accuracy of the Brigand, yep, aims higher up, he's aiming for that superstructure shot, uh, Jean Bar, knowing he's dead, gets a final salvo off, and, oh, actually, he's not dead. Jeez. And by the way, we're, we're at to three minutes right now, okay? Um, granted, the team is taking the sea cap. Oh, Holland has found the Shimakaze. I'm not sure uh, what the health the Shimakaze is at. Holland's a pretty good gunboat. But Shimakaze, uh, HE do hurt. All right, swept over to HE H just to get that good, consistent damage in. And, mmm, John Bar just popped a heal. So, this isn't as clear-cut as it as it is look at this he's turning because unlike a lot of other players he has map awareness he's turning into the shimikaze where you think the shimikaze um is at something that a lot of players can learn from if you think a dd is there you got to get your bow face in that direction he's also in kind of a hard spot because he if he goes full broadside on he runs the risk with the jean bar loading ap and then vibe checking him so he, he's kind of in this middle spot he's doing the right thing he's constantly checking over seeing the shimikaze getting spotted she's the holland pushing up to him checking for torps there's the shimikaze good call good call finish off the low health of jean bar Oop. or vibe check the the shimikaze here let's see Okay, I would have stayed on the Jean Bar, but hey, if you can, mm -hmm. ah, kind of dicey here. Let's see, that is AP from the Jean Bar. Well, yeah, God, okay, good, good, good. I was, I was hoping it wouldn't nuke him. Okay, so we're down to a minute and uh, forty seconds here, so something's got to go down. Hopefully, I think he should get one of them here. Oh man, okay, Shimakaji is basically dead, so he leaves him to the Holland, and now I believe he'll finally get the Jean Bar. Oh, that was real. Oh, you see that? That's why. That's why I was I was worried there for a second, because it doesn't take a lot. And there you go, Kraken unleashed as his final achievement. Oh man, I, oh, combat medal. Yeah, that's what they're called, combat medals. Played this game for six, seven years. Not 100% sure what those are called. All right, Linus. All right. So he didn't include the uh, ending leaderboard, but he did include the ending screen. And he did tell me this was a 3K base XP game. And looking at, that, at the results here, I 125% believe him. That was a good combat match. That was the enemy team's game to lose at that point. And in no small way, Linus definitely helped that out. And again, Bergon. What an awesome ship. I love it. It's great with HE, great with AP. Just such a wonderful still ship. One I would highly recommend you guys get. So, uh, oh, and I'm sorry, two lines didn't include his commander build. It's a little late for that, I know, but he didn't include his commander build, so I'm not 100% sure what he was running there for most of the day. This is also Linus's personal damage record, a 301,000 damage, quite a tall 
stack of damage there for you, Linus. So, thank you so much for sending that in, Linus. If you guys did enjoy this, make sure to tell Linus that in the comments down below. And if you did enjoy as well, make sure to drop a like and leave a comment on this video and subscribe to the channel. So again, thank you Linus just for sending that in. That was very enjoying to, to watch and such a, such a nice match. I, I wish we had more matches like this um, in the game, but as we all know, higher tier meta is at the moment. So you guys, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it again, make sure to drop a like, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel. We're on the way to 50,000 subscribers, thanks to you guys, and I can't thank you guys enough for that. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope to catch you guys in the next one.